Hey everyone, welcome back to Hippie Warrior and welcome to day 17 of our 30 day 5 minute challenge. Today we're going to be doing plyometrics and we're going to be doing that with our arms pressing. So like a clapping push up is what our formats going to kind of be. We're going to do our 60 second warm up and then we'll have a 30 second rest and then we'll go into our 10 seconds of plyometrics with 90 seconds of rest. Like I said, we're gonna be doing clapping push-ups. I've got a bench here so I can go between a higher to a mid-range all the way to the ground. Find a way to mitigate it for you. We're going in eight seconds in our warm-up and we'll keep talking about that. Five, two, one. Go ahead and start jogging. So usually we've been doing set like 75% or 70%, 85% and then 100%. We can also adjust our resistance, whether it's weight or the angle that we're at, to also affect how difficult it is. And we can progress up. Taps. Keep it up for five. And now hops. Park bench is kind of perfect for this because you can get that high, medium, and then all the way to the ground. And boom. Some people like to do these on their knees to make it a little easier. That can often kind of mess with the back a little bit if you don't have proper alignment. So I like to be able to work from a higher point versus using knees. Two, one, good. Oh, go ahead and shake it out. And in fact, we're gonna go ahead and practice good Push up form, so you want to draw your elbows down in along your ribs, and then when you press out, you want them to come up in line with your shoulders. And try not to let your shoulders come up, nor them run round forward. We got 10 seconds, so go ahead and set up on your first level. I'm going to be going down, push up, and I'm good. Here we go. Two, one, go ahead. Like inhale. Exhale. And good. Like when we did those squat jumps or when we did our uh, snatching pulls, we're thinking like loading up the spring, explosively coming out. Loading it up, nice, soft, and then out and explosive. Go ahead and roll those shoulders back. And now alternate. and forward, both, and alternate, good, now just march in place, just to get in the legs a bit, keep it up, and good, go ahead and bounce it out, let those shoulders drop, shake those arms, and then now again, wrist. We're gonna go open, close, open, close, open, close. And then full arm down, up. Keep those shoulders back. You see my left one wanted to come in. Womp, womp. And last 15 seconds set up. So now I'm gonna move to my lower level. Of course, if you're doing something like this, make sure you don't whack your head. So watch yourself. Make sure you have a good punch. Five, four. Three, two, one. Here we go, last one. As you can see, my head got a little close. So like I said, be sure to be careful. Don't need you whacking yourself. You can see also by angling, we're coming in way faster. So you have to catch yourself not just about how hard you have to push up, but how hard you have to slow down. Go ahead and shake those shoulders out. Oh. Good. Now, little squats. Oh. Twist the hips. Oh. And shake arms out. Now, change it up. Just relax. Big deep inhale in. Exhale out. Good. Now I'm gonna be moving to the ground. 
So go ahead if you want, you can start setting up. Like I said, some people like to go on their knees. I prefer to work with a straight body to really work on keeping everything integrated and just choose to do something higher. So if the ground seems a little intimidating or if you do one and you don't like it, just progress. Better to keep moving than to like, ah, oh, well, I can't do it. Here we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Quality over quantity. Good. You might've noticed that I did a couple different variations. You can do it where you come down, use that soft landing, pop back up and then reload and explode. Find what feels best for you. A lot of people also like to just chain them together. And if you can do that with good form and good explosion, go for it. I like to really make sure, especially when I'm just kind of easing into something, just really work on the form. So hope you had a good time. That's a lot of talking. Like and subscribe. Come tomorrow. Later today we have mobility work. And as always, love y'all.